Okay, second thing I missed in the last video, I have to also rotate this thing. Like this dot rot. And we'll update the rotation rotation variable and the x and y variable. So uh, we have to do like something like this. Only we have to update the y variable, sorry. We have to only update the y variable. Uh, we should do it by, so it must cover the whole height, whole height of the window. We have already h, now we'll just do h by 15 so it must like go at a speed of 15 at each time it will cover uh, the 15 uh, so after 15 times after 15 iteration uh, it will go to the bottom or say 20 a little bit slower it will be uh, you can easily tap on the screen and the rotation value will be somewhere around 360 by 30 okay so we'll say 12 or just say uh, so in the speed here is 20 i'll just we call h as 20 so this will depend on 20 so we have to also compare it within 20 time uh, 20 thing 20 seconds or something 20 into duration of the uh, time gap or something uh, time gap so now we'll just do 360 by speed okay so and we'll have another method called handle tap we have to also tap on the star this will return a boolean which will be this dot x is this dot x is greater than sorry if x is within the star size the star rectangle then only we are handling the tap so it will be this dot x minus r and x is equal to this dot x is less than equal to this dot x plus r and x is uh, sorry not r this dot size i'm sorry for it uh, this dot size by 2 r is size by 2 so we don't have a r as a global variable or r as a, in, in this and similarly for y also we'll have the same logic we'll just copy and change x to y okay So, oh, so generally if you're uh, trying to tap inside a star so you have to tap within the, the rectangle of the star like uh, you have the star right so this thing if you join from this edge to this edge so in this all the edges you will get a rectangle okay uh, like all vertical lines you will draw a vertical line, line here vertical line here to uh, test the edge vertical line here to draw test the edge vertical line here to draw test the edge you will get a rectangle okay and if you're trying to tap in it it must be inside the rectangle if it is centered at x comma y and it's uh, like this thing is size okay so it is uh, less than this uh, this is size by 2 this is size by 2 its length is uh, length is side to size and height is size so and from the center uh, like the lower bound from the uh, lower horizontal line, horizontal thing uh, value is x minus r by 2 upper horizontal value is x plus r by 2 lower uh, vertical value is y minus r by 2 upper thing is y plus r by 2 so the tab must be within this area so you can have a tab uh, you can define a path and try to have a path try to uh, see whether the x and y coordinate is within that path or you can have the rectangle it uh, may be you tapping here will have the same effect but it will work like this thing is good like sometimes it's okay to issue to tap x is the area x is the area of uh, something like that so i'm fine with it and it will return a boolean speed is 20 and all so we have created a star class i will just add it to the previous commit we'll find this in a github repo which i'll share in the link uh, i'll just have like, plug on my charger yeah now it is charging let's create a star container star container will contain the star that will create the stars random at random position so constructor will take constructor the stars array and the time it is centered so based on from the time it is rendered will create the stars we have a create stars method 
which will create the stars. We have a draw stars method. We have an update stars method. Okay, till the handle tap thing. Okay, we will have a handle tap thing. It will take the x and y and it will try to pass this x and y to the handle tap of each star. So list star draw will take a context variable because we have to draw with the help of context. Are we having context here? No. There was a slight issue here. So take context in the star variable, star method, uh, stars draw method also. Now create stars method if this so generally you will uh, when you're doing draw a draw you will not this thing uh, when you're creating this thing you will see if render equal to equal to render percentile of uh, 15 equal to equal to 0 so like after 15 times the after each 15 uh, milliseconds or 15 times the speed like time delay you will create a ball uh, you create a star sorry you will create a star and this will render plus plus so we increment the render each time and now this the trend is uh, 15 equal to equal to 0 so you will say you will create a star new star so x y coordinate will be 0 and the you will also have a w or the w you have the w thing here so you will set the size of the star according to the width and height of the window so width is already defined in w so you will use w instead of h you have to use w by 30 and here you will say or the highest dimension by 30 you will do max dot max w by h by 30 and now okay will be at zero position and this will be it will the y position will start from uh, zero but the x position will be random so x random will be uh, and x random will be is uh, it will take anything uh, from this uh, like the from the zero uh, position to the last position to the uh, la left rightmost part from the leftmost part to the left rightmost part it can take any value the leftmost part value is zero the rightmost part is w and we have to also take the consideration into the size we have to take the star size into consideration when we are trying to determine the lower uh, lower left corners where well, left con corners coordinate and the right corner corners coordinate so for this thing we have to redefine the size thing which is this in fact we can have it outside this thing and just say I'll call it star size or people will be confused and so instead of starting from uh, so x random you have to find the star size we'll have the star size here so we'll use mat.random and it will give us a float variable in two anything like uh, it must have an initial value like uh, it, the left corner must be the initial value the left corner value here will be star size okay the and into the um, the difference between the left corner and right corner and the left corner that is w minus 2 cross star size so the last the rightmost corner part will be w minus star size uh, so I can write this point here x max x min which will be star size and x max that will be w minus star size else the star will like uh, it will go out of the screen so now this will be x mean and this thing will be x max minus x mean Okay, this will render plus plus. Now we have to update this, uh, draw the stars. We'll push this new created star into the stars array. Push 
star. Okay, now we have to draw the star. We have to use for each star star dot draw context. Okay, now we have to update. If star dot y is greater than h, then we'll remove this thing. We'll have a use. We'll remove the star. We'll use the index, and we'll use flies from the stars array. So index comma one. Now we'll check whether we are handling the we are handling tap tap in the star or not. So if star dot handle tap x comma y then we'll also have an index variable here and we we'll remove this star from the stars array using splice index comma one okay we have to also set the fill style which will be something like Let's take an example, something from Material UI dot colors or Material UI colors dot com. This two side are very good side to get material color. And now we'll choose a color for we'll choose amber. Amber is a very good color. Uh, sorry. And we'll add this to star container. Start and as a new commit. Now we'll use the start container in the uh, this component in the next video.